Welcome uh, to Inkish. This is uh, Morten, and uh, I have the pleasure to talk to Konstantin Schmidt, who is, I just learned, fifth generation of uh, a very exciting company, Schmidt, in, from Germany. So, uh, Konstantin, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you do and, and how you got into this? Uh, I mean, you are born into the business, obviously, but uh, uh, I think you had like, uh, it, it's still like by free will that you're part of it, right? <laughs> Yes, yeah. Uh, originally, my older brother was supposed to take over the company, but he uh, okay. he did not want to. And uh, initially, I also did not want to. And I was working a little bit in management consulting for, for like four years. And uh, with the beginning of the uh, COVID pandem uh, pandemic, that really... Uh, was a little bit more difficult and uh, of course we spent a lot more time with our families so uh, yeah discussions arose and my father is now in a in almost retirement age so okay. uh, that's how so I, something had to be done basically yes yeah it was uh, definitely for him uh, a breaking point and um, uh, yeah in hindsight it's been like two and a half years now in hindsight for me it's a really good decision and uh, I always underestimated how uh, interesting and how uh, like uh, big variety um, the whole industry and also our small niche of hardcover bookmaking uh, really is. So um, mm. yeah, even though I knew the company for my whole life, right? So it's of uh, course, yeah. yeah. And and yeah. I can't help think about uh, having. Uh, I mean, working with the, with the, the business side prior to you becoming part of of Schmidt. Uh, in the daily basis, it's not a bad combination, right? Because I think that uh, understanding the, the financials, understanding the markets, combining with the, uh, the legacy of, your, of you and, and your grand grandparents' uh, company, it must be a good mix. Yeah, I mean, for me, uh, in general, I am the first uh, management person that has really uh, studied. Uh, so my father uh, never went to university and he's basically self-taught. And um, yeah, my grandparents uh, also not. So I think uh, I, uh, I think and I hope I definitely bring some uh, professionalism uh, into some of some parts of the company. Um, like for me, uh, it's mainly uh, been focusing on analytics and uh, customer experience. So uh, last year we launched our new web presence before uh, we were always splitting up the material side of the business and the machine side and now we combine that so um, definitely um, making a little bit of a change and uh, also i think a culture change within the company but um, yeah overall um, i'm i'm very comfortable with with how we are doing it and, and i think know, we are also and you know, one thing I was just thinking about, uh, Constantine, is that now when you have uh, said yes and your brother said no, I think now you have to prove him wrong, right? You need to prove that you can do a better job than he could, right? Yeah. Uh, you have to you have to try every day, right? I mean, we are a small company. We have like 40 employees, so uh, not so big. And especially comparing to other companies that are at Luzern or at Innovation Days, we are we are quite small. Um, so. Mm. Uh, it's it's always uh, you are connected to your employees and uh, you also have a, a big responsibility because you know everybody and you know some of the families and especially in uh, tougher times so like 2020 was not a good year for us so that was really something where uh, uh, you have to stand together and I think um, we arose from strength and uh, uh, so it's uh, it's overall I think uh, a good good thing yeah yeah, and I can't help think about as we as we spoke about just before we turn on the recording. It's always uh, when you are in a position where the market is all in favor of your products. Uh, I mean, one thing is that you have the right innovation, you have the right communication, you have the right management for for the for the company you manage. But it must be so nice that you can see all the trends goes towards smaller circulation or even books of one and people still want really want hardcover books and and, and and that is the niche that that Schmidt operates in so I think that from that perspective not a bad time right 
Yes, yes, for sure. I mean, uh, the the development towards uh, kind of smaller volumes and smaller production runs really plays into uh, into a favor for us, and um, it's basically where we come from historically because. Uh, uh, the first machines we built were for uh, really small book binderies here in Germany and uh, we've always become more professional and so and more automated of course and now also more digital yeah? how much you you can in in the bookmaking industry right but um, uh, for us for sure uh, it's a good development in the market mm. um, the competitive situation when you look at let's say hardcover production in small, small in short runs is not that hard is it um, it depends so i think in the us you have uh, for example odm who are um, quite strong in their in their market not so much outside of the us at least we don't feel much of it in europe and then um, in europe you have uh, strong players from italy as well uh, a couple of them and um, of course we are we are here in germany and then there's some uh, Eastern European producers, and of course mm. you have um, Chinese companies. Yeah. But I was most, I, uh, as, as that's a great uh, uh, way of expressing it, but I was thinking that the, 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 the really short run book products, I mean, if you can get the right distribution, if you can get the, the service uh, along with it, if you can get into the market, which is, I guess, why you are at uh, Hunkler Innovation Days, the market is, seems to me like a growing market, and even though you have a competition, it's still like a German built quality, a huge legacy, long legacy for, for having high quality products. I mean, the, the, the timing is, and I, I know I spoke about it before as well, but I think the timing in the market right now is just, nothing is just grabbing the opportunity. But if you grab the opportunity, you have a good chance to grow your company. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I agree. I think so too. But we still have some uh, work to do because we are, uh, not automated enough for for some of the bigger customers so for example we have some customers where we uh, competed with Müller Martini who are also at yeah. uh, Innovation Days and of course are a very big company um, yeah. and uh, also their machines are of course um, much more expensive so um, that's really something where where we of course come in with a, a much much lower price and you, you can still get a, a reasonable productivity out of our machines so so um, uh, definitely uh, an, a different approach and uh, for them um, well, what we've been seeing is that they are struggling a little bit to to bring down the volume to really book of one and yeah. uh, that's something where we still come in so there are customers that we know uh, that have a, a big uh, Müller Martini machine and they can do like 80% of their products run really well and for the rest they have a, a, a small line or it's not a small line but a line from Schnett and um, they can basically do all the uh, bigger formats, uh, difficult materials and uh, really short runs on our machines. So um, definitely it really depends on the customer needs, but um, uh, I think we, we have a good positioning, but we still have a lot of work to do because if we were able to step up our uh, automation level, let's say one more step and um, basically help our customers to become even more productive with our uh, solutions, then I think that could be a really good uh, situation for us. And is that, I mean, it sounds almost like that is the direction where you are taking the company. I mean, you're still uh, relatively young in the leadership, but, but in, in Schmidt. So is that where you see the, the future of your company is developing it into more automation, uh, faster setup times? I mean, all the mega trends that we know of, is that where you take your company or is there, is it too, too large investments or is it too difficult to get into that market? Or where do you see your company, let's say in, in three, five years time? Yeah, I think um, in the machine uh, part of the business, we definitely have to become more automated. Yeah, we are working on it and we will also be presenting, I'll, I'll talk about it a little bit later, um, uh, a revamp of one of our machines that is uh, faster and can do more, but um, let's talk about that later. But overall, um, I think you have to become more innovative and more automated because we also uh, we have so many machines in the market already that are already running really well, right? And mm -hmm. customers regularly uh, tell us, 
why should I upgrade when I have a machine from you that runs really well and I have no worries, right? So uh, I, I think that's a good and bad problem to have because you, is, have, yeah, yeah. you have a lot of uh, customers that are satisfied with the quality and um, that can really get a lot of uh, value out of our machines. So uh, we have a good brand image in that uh, regard. But of course, um, placing new machines at those customers would mean that they uh, let's say double their production volume, which is sometimes not uh, feasible. And um, yeah. if you can then um, offer them a faster solution, where they uh, now with with rising wages and all of that can can uh, save time and money, that's really uh, where I see um, where we can sell new machines to existing customers that have old machines and. Uh, uh, also, of course, win pitches against our competition that sometimes is uh, is more productive. And and um, when I again talk about the timing that that and and the time we are in general is, I mean, if you look at uh, probably at innovation days, we will see. Uh, I mean, if you look back at innovation days, maybe 10, 15 years ago, it was maybe more a transactional print show, right? But today, uh, with the uh, digital, both in inkjet and also in, in toner, uh, the, the the quality, the uh, productivity of the machines, uh, and also the cost, especially with inkjet, seems that now it's at least starting this digital transformation within the uh, where people are thinking of maybe I should have an inkjet device rather than buying a new offset machine, and I take that with shorter print runs and with new technology, there will also be a whole range of new customers for Schmidt because it's not <laughs> only about uh, the the very big lines of of 100% uh, automated book binding uh, machines but also as you say you can have a you can have a very highly automated uh, uh, Müller Mazzini line and then you can still have the specialty books uh, and maybe even shorter runs where it's maybe more feasible to invest in Schmidt technology is is that, is that does it resonate with you Yes, yes, for sure. And I think another uh, thing that plays into that is that uh, a lot of digital printers, um, also smaller ones, which are mainly our customers then, um, are deciding to bring the book production in-house and also hardcover. Um, yeah. All of them usually already have a perfect binder and can do soft cover books, but hardcover is usually something they would have outsourced in the past. and. Uh, there are a lot of different reasons why you would take something in-house, but I mean, um, most of the times what we hear is that they don't have the reliable uh, supplier and um, that in the end um, they just want to have more control and also bring the costs down a little bit. And um, that's something where, where we come in as a sparring partner to uh, give a lot of expertise because mm -hmm. hardcover still is... Uh, uh, yeah, quite a bit of different materials that, that those customers are not used to yet and um, we can help them um, set up a, a good production and also uh, yeah, help them maybe entry into, enter into that um, space and uh, maybe still outsource some of the production but, but also be able to do some of that uh, themselves. Yeah, because I mean, you mentioned, of course, the cost that you uh, and the and the reliability. But I mean, also if you have in-house production, it is also a timing issue because I think the demand for turnaround time on almost all print production today is really, really getting uh, under yes. a big pressure. Yep. So, so having the technology in-house gives you not only the timing advantage to existing customers, but maybe also bring new customers to your business because you can't deliver on a short notice. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's also, uh, you, uh, thank you for playing uh, into my cards. Huh? Uh, no, but uh, you, you are right. And uh, we see that trend overall, but also, I mean, um, it's because our existing customer base, the bookbinders, um, they are not so not innovative enough and not flexible enough for uh, the digital printers who are used to like quick turnaround times, yeah, very precisely. reliable yeah, suppliers. Yeah. And yeah. um, there are still some bookbinders that do it really well, and I think they get good business. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, a large um, or a majority of of uh, those that are still existing. 
they either don't want to invest enough to to be able to um, do that or are just not um, yeah hungry enough anymore to to do it so i think uh, there's a little bit of a clash in the industry and um, yeah for us it's uh, it's a good move because uh, those people they don't have machines yet right so mm -hmm. so we can uh, place place new machines there and um, also uh, we have like an entry level solution so uh, which is not very expensive and um, we will not be showing that at hunkeler days because it's not the right uh, oh, it, mi it so, might actually be uh, uh, some some of the right target group but uh, of course, uh, the focus is more on, on showing uh, the more automated, high production uh, volume machines. Uh, but we, we also see that companies that uh, are, are quite successful in selling digital print products um, move to uh, start out with a really small hardcover line. And uh, because we historically come from the really small hardcover uh, productions, that's something that's really our home field. Innovation days, we have touched upon it a couple of times already. So, uh, I mean, you said you had a booth that is jam-packed with equipment, of course, right? But yep. uh, what, what else is, I mean, you can see, you, will you be able to see production running or is it more just showing the technology? Um, no, we will. Um, so, so in general, we have, uh, let's say, we have two booths, info booths. Uh, so I think it's... 24 square meters uh, total and then we are partnering with GP2 Technologies. I don't know if you are speaking to them, but uh, I don't think they have returned, no, so... Uh, okay, okay, good. <laughs> yeah. Then I have to represent them as well because we are partnering with them and they are next to us uh, without a wall in between and um, we basically, uh, for why we are partnering, it's a historic relationship and they are really experts in uh, case making and on-demand case making and um, they uh, we sell their biggest line of equipment over here in Europe and uh, so it's a, it's a really good partnership and they will be sharing um, or showing uh, a case making production um, that is fully on demand so uh, very interesting i think for customers and uh, on the other hand we will be showing um, the finishing side uh, so uh, anything that uh, that follows um, basically the uh, book block and case com combination casing in and pressing and um, then as a little bit of a side topic because we think it's it's really interesting uh, and it gets a lot of attention in the market uh, at the moment we also have a, a book edge printer that will be oh, showing that is nice is that is yeah. that oh man is that something you develop or are you just selling it um so uh, we are working with a company uh, called s printer and uh, in the past, uh, the first version of that machine uh, they have built and we have sold since uh, 2020. So uh, nice. we have quite some machines in the market already and it's working well. But mm -hmm. uh, what we see now is that um, it's, a, it's a quite industrial uh, version and uh, the print engine is very expensive. So the whole machine mm -hmm. is, is quite expensive and only works for um, like high volume producers. So uh, what we are now developing is a, a smaller in-house version and more more affordable version that we also produce ourselves with our uh, production capabilities. So um, that's something uh, that we will be tackling this year. And we already have uh, the updated print engine, which is uh, cheaper and doesn't use chipped ink, which is... Uh, which was also a very expensive consumable for the old machine. Um, we will be showing that at the uh, at our booth, so uh, we can already see the the print quality uh, for the new engine. Um, but it's still a prototype, yeah. So the machine doesn't look uh, schmet pretty yet. Let's let's put it like that. <laughs> but um, pretty, okay, mm -hmm. that's a good. Yes, one. because we. Uh, I'm sure you know the green because you've said yeah, you. Yeah. You, uh, you saw our machines before and uh, we try to uh, make everything 100% green and a little bit red and uh, that machine uh, does not have that look yet but uh, for us I think the most important part is that we show the, the technology and that we can uh, show our customers also that we, are, that we are being innovative in that space as well because the last and I, and, iteration... And and I'm pretty sure that you will take orders on it at, at the show if people are really, really squeeze you, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, that's that's how it goes, right? If, if somebody really wants to buy, of yeah, course yeah, we will. Yeah, uh, they, can, they, can get a, they can get a permission for that. Yes. Um, 
Constantine, uh, it's been uh, great talking to you. Uh, do you have anything else that you want to uh, tell me right now? Because as you know, I have a pretty stressful agenda today, but I really wanted to talk to you. So I, I appreciate your time. And I, as I said, also, uh, we would definitely like to come and film uh, some of your products to get a little bit better understanding of what what it is Schmidt does and uh, how it works. And, and, and this uh, Site Edge uh, printer, that is something that I am very interested in. So uh, yeah, it's great. it's a good product and it gets a lot of attention. Yeah, maybe just one uh, quick thing to add from my side um, uh, is that we we will be showing our new book press as well, which we haven't really talked about, but uh, people will see it at the show. And um, yeah, it's uh, completely redesigned. From the outside, it looks uh, pretty similar, but from the inside, the, the technology, we uh, changed it up quite a bit. And um, so I think it's very exciting. And uh, I hope that people come and also look at our products at Innovation Days. And um, yes, thank you for, for inviting me and uh, also for, for coming to our booth and um, happy to see you there. I'm also happy to see you there, Constantine. So uh, have a safe trip to uh, uh, Lucerne in a couple of weeks. And I look forward to see you and your products and your colleagues and the finished products that uh, your technology produces. So uh, thank you and thank you for being part of uh, Inkish in this uh, round of Innovation Day Talk. So thank you, Constantine. Thank you.